everybody, welcome back to the channel. I uh, hope you're all keeping well and keeping safe. Um, just a little bit of an update on Dad. Uh, everything was going well. It was all going so, so well. And he was hopefully coming out Friday, which is today. Um, but no, uh, things took a bit of a turn yesterday. Uh, he got a, a high infection rate, um, stomach swelling up, other bits and pieces. Basically what they're saying to us is they've got to do another scan and they've probably got to go in for another operation today because there's a blockage somewhere else. So he, he won't be out this side of the weekend if he's out next week. I, I, I really don't know. Um, it's just like being hit with a sledgehammer at the minute. It really is. Just want dad home. Just just want him home. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update on that. And I'm just trying to get out of a junction. There we go, we're out. Uh, apart from that, we're carrying on with the sanding up the gallop. I know, I'll show you how wet it is here, but we just got. I've just got to get the sand in. I've got other jobs in other places need doing, so I've got to get on. But this is how wet she is. You come down, this is the track down to the horse gallop. She is rather moist. But no matter what, like I said to him today, I need to get that sand in. So we're gonna get the sand in today. Well, most of it in today. The rest on either tomorrow or Monday depending on how I feel. At this precise time, I just want to come to work to keep my mind off things. Um, but yeah, just look at this, look. Horrible. But right, I'm gonna get this digger warmed up, quickly grease it up as well, and then uh, get on with um, putting the sand in. Keep saying it, but I do just want to say a massive thank you for all the support and what have you and the messages. I am going to pass them on to Dad. Oh, I have passed some on, but I'll pass the others on when I speak to him next. At the minute, I don't want to ring him, don't want to hassle him. He's in enough pain as it is without me ringing up. But, right, I'll go start this digger up. Get it sorted. She's up and running. Right, let her warm up. I'm gonna quickly grease this up. See you in a second. Time to get the old grease gun out then. Ooh, shiny grease gun. It's cold out here. Grease has been done. She's all greased up. Lovely. All the way through. Right, I'll put this grease gun back. Quickly wash me old dandies. And then get ready for the sand to keep coming in. Yeah. Yeah. It's getting dirty. All dirty, dirty. I like it dirty. Yeah. Got to try and keep you. Keep your happiness up in dire situations. Uh, ain't working. Man's getting all depressed. Not depressed, just upset. I just want me, want me father back home. Back home where he should be. Not stuck in that bloody hospital. Shouldn't be stuck there, but then that is the best place for him at the minute. So. Even though I hate it, you've got to live with it. Right, gonna go get in the digger where it's nice and warm and uh, warm up. Give you a show on the road then. Give you a little twist and a turn and a 
plonky donkey 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 plonky oh there you go you're back at my level now all right we'll go and uh go have a look at the gallop then oh wrong way Just take a look at this mess. Oh, it's just turning like pea soup. I'll take you over there. I'm not walking it, I'm just, I tried to walk it and I was disappearing. How to ruin my day. That up there, rain, that is ruining, that is really ruining my day. Just look at it. Just like soup, pea soup. Mushy peas. I tell you what, this was going lovely, but the old uh, the old weather has uh, certainly ruined my day today. I ruined it yesterday, and it's made it even worse today. But we nearly got 100 meters done this morning. From up near the eight tonner, all the way round to here, and I know it's nearly 100 meters because the end of the tram is there. So we nearly got 100 meters down. Um, that will leave about 110 meters left. But I've got to go, this is only roughly done at the minute. I've just patted this down just to make it a little bit firmer. Then you've got to come around with the eight tonner and then finish off with the eight tonner as well. Just put a bit of sand down and level it off. And then this, all the sand will be in. Then I've got to go around and these edges I've got to just flick up at a 45. I started doing it the other side of the eight tanner and it actually looks really nice. Then I've got all the dressing up to do, all the topsoiling and everything else. So yeah, I've got my work cut out here. What I do is once uh, loads in, I'll just go and um, tap this down. Literally, not hard, just just a little press, just to just to level it off a bit. And um, that means when I run the eight tonner on there, the eight tonner doesn't sink out of sight. Because if you don't press it down a little bit, the eight tonner will go down at least eight inches. So you've got to press it a little bit. You don't want to go and like bump it down hard. Just a little press. And that'll be enough just to hold the eight tonner up from sinking. Also, then I know that isn't far off the level we want to be at either. Little press, little press. Oh, that was a bit too hard. Little press. Basically, the force I'm putting down is just on the verge of lifting the digger. So, when you see do that, you probably can't see that on the camera, just starting to move the digger, so not a huge amount of force but just enough just to level off, and then I'm going to do something that hard. Showing, um, but what I might do is jump from here round to that corner and work this way round then, so everything's running to the lowest point. Yeah, it's all good. 
are good in the herd. I hope the bloody horses like it. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. I know I keep chucking that in, but it is what it is. Gotta like, share, subscribe. Especially if I've got to make up, up to that 500 by Christmas. We've got a fast track cart and stone in. see much or not. We were getting somewhere, um, we are getting along fairly well to be fair. Uh, I've got, well, I'll soon tell you exactly how much more I've got left to uh, sand up. So now I've got to go back all over again, just for the final bits. But I've got uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 56, six, about 65 metres left uh, sand up. Um, then, literally, once that's done, go round with the eight tonner, flatten it all off, and see if I need any more. I have just said to the client I could do with an extra three lorry loads of sand because we are starting to run short. But three should do it. And he said, okay, he'll get on that and order it now. So, I'll be here for Monday. So, all is good. Um, bit of a heads up on Dad, I know this, this vlog has gone like a um, vlog all about Dad, but it's not, I'll just keep people up to date, um, had another phone call, he's not just got a normal infection from the operation, he's now got a water infection to go on top as well, and that come on this afternoon. So he's on even even stronger, super strong antibiotics to deal with the infection in his stomach, the infection on his pancreas, and now a water infection. Poor son is really going through the ringer at the minute. Uh, just want him to get sorted and get home. It's, I'll tell you what, this week has been horrible. I'm not speaking to him on the phone like I normally do. Him not being his normal self. It's, it's horrible, it really is. But I don't know if he's had his scan, I don't know if he's had an operation, I, I've not heard nothing. Um, they're just trying to get his infections under control first. But he is in severe pain again. So as soon as I know, I will let everybody else know. What I'm doing now is just, I know it sounds wrong, but I'm just filling the time out on the Friday now. The tractor driver's gone off, he's not carting anymore today, so I'm just filling the time out, scraping up here, getting this sorted. But I'm going to do the old usual. I'd like to thank everybody who has shared, liked, and subscribed. And also, um, Thank you to the ones who do have commented about Dad and what have you. I appreciate each and every one of them. Same as he does as well. But yeah, so on that note, I've got once I've done this, I've got to just diesel the machine up. Because I haven't diesel her up for a little while, we'll fill her up with bad blue as well. I don't like leaving the machine over the weekend without dieseling because the tank does compensate if you don't do that. And it's not just on a Volvo, every machine does it. So that's why you always fill up on a Friday night. None of this stuff is being mucked away, this is all going to be spread out in the field. So we'll mix it up with the chalk and the sand, and spread it back on because that'll just get ploughed in, cultivated in. later on this winter I'm going to run a cable from the front there to the back put two pillars on the back here that I can connect this straight to instead of keep going to the battery
Shall we see if we can make her a spark? Sparky time. Oh, she's sparky, sparky. Add blue time. Oh, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Tank is empty and the digger is full up. Tank is empty and that is full. Do well. Couldn't have um, worked out any better. Beautiful. Whoops, not on the camera. Oh, that's that one. Right, that's the diesel filled up. That's the ad blue all filled up. Both locked up, ready to park this old girl up, and then time for home. But like to just say thank you to everybody. Don't forget, big thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'll keep you all updated with Dad as we go along this journey, and hopefully, hopefully by Monday we'll have some good news. That's what I'm hoping. But all of you, please, please, please st say, stay safe. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. See you later. And this is what gets me. I've come up here to um, drop Dad some bits off. I'm allowed to go in the hospital. I'm allowed to go to the door of the ward he's on. But I'm not. I'm not allowed to um, go see him. And that is what's really, really starting to niggle me is I'm not allowed to go see my dad. Just like to say thank you to everybody who has sent messages of support and what have you for dad. Things aren't brilliant at the minute. We all thought he was coming home. Well, what a palaver. That took longer to pay for the car park than it did to drop Dad's stuff off. But I'll tell you what, I'll give the nurses their dues up there. I literally went there, dropped him off, and she looked at me and she said, as I'm being nice, very, very quickly for 30 seconds, you can quickly go in and see your dad. Made my day. Made my day going to see him. But also broke my heart broke my heart as any dad like that and I know, know it sounds stupid and it sounds stupid but um gosh make me try to go but him saying love you to me that's the first time he said that for well since I was a kid so he must be in severe pain to be talking like that but good to see him, really good to see him. Um, that's one of them where I wish I had mum with me and she could have come and said hello quickly. But that's all he kept asking was, how's mum, how's mum? I just kept saying, don't worry about mum. How's work, don't worry about work, don't worry about mum, just get yourself better. But I'd just like to say to the nurses, thank you for letting me in for that 30 seconds. At the made all the difference but right on that note I'm gonna get home and just go to bed or something I've just had enough really have had enough now but right don't all oh, don't forget like share subscribe and we'll see you all on the next one